Good morning, boys and girls. It's, it's uh, Miss Rose again with another Legos time. Uh, this week I have a Lego book that I'm going to read, but first I'm going to show you some of the Legos that I made so you can get out your Legos and get started while I, so I can give you some ideas when uh, I'm reading the story. So. I made a little bear. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Kind of made the Legos a little too close. So here's one of them. I made a little bear. And I made a little pink dinosaur. Be nice. I also made for the littler ones. I made a little duck. I hope you can see it. I love the bright colors for the duck. Also, I made a different sort of bird, kind of like a bird tower, kind of different. And I made a goose, the sorts of stork. It was pretty easy to make. There's no rule saying that you have to make them big. They can be small also, and they really stand out pretty well. have a little curvy guy. That was made with pink and purple. And what I like about it, see like here you have the little gray eyes. And this one has little eyes put on it. This one here already has it painted on the block. This one I decided not to go with eyes, and I used just a clear block to make the eyes. And this one was pretty easy to make, and it has a little clear nose. And I'm dropping things as usual. Okay, so today I'm going to read Lego Ninja Epic Adventures. So get out your Legos and start making something. Like I said, today I made different kinds of animals. Ninja on guard. Ninjaro Island is a land of mountains, forests, towns, and temples. It is a magical place, but is not a peaceful one. Many villains want to conquer Ninjaro and rule over its people. Six brave ninja defend Ninjaro against these threats. Their names are Cole, Jay, Lloyd, Kai, Zan, and Mina. The ninja train hard and strengthen their bodies and minds. They are guided by their teacher, Master Wo. The ninja use an ancient martial art known as Spinzizu. Every day they gather for their training session. Lloyd, Jay, Zane, Nana, Cole, and Kai Kyle are all eager to work hard. Training is not just about building strong muscles. The ninja must also develop quick thinking and fast reactions. They must learn to handle all kinds of weapons too. The ninja training arena is called the dojo. Master Wu watches the ninja, ninja carefully as they train. This wise old teacher has years of experience as a ninja coach. The 
The ninja are skilled at using many weapons, but each of them has a favorite. Mia uses her spear to battle enemies and sometimes to vault over them. Zane throws his three pointed. What in the world is that? You guys are going to have to help me. Shurikens to stop enemy vehicles. Kai has a special sword with fire that shoots fireballs to drive off foes. Jay whirls around his nunchuck around so fast that gives out bursts of electricity. Cole has a, a Sith sharp enough to cut through stone. As for Lloyd, he wields not one but two golden Catania's. He is equally skilled with his right and left hands. Wow, those are some some kind of weapons that these ninjas have. Whatever the adventure, the ninja have a perfect vehicle for it. When Kai steals the sword of fire from the Benamari snakes, he uses his blade cycle to make a getaway. When the snakes catch up with him, Kai flips up the blades on the cycle so the snakes have to back off. Jay's storm, storm fighter looks like an ordinary plane, but when it flies into action, enemies had better take cover. The storm fighter's wings suddenly fold out and they are loaded with weapons. Cole's dirt bike can power over sand with its caterpillar threads. It also armed, it is also armed with weapons. Wow, these are some fancy rhymes. Look at that. The ninja have many friends who support them in their mission to defend Ninjara. Darth is a karate expert. He longs to be a ninja like his friends, but lacks special skills. Muskeo is Lloyd's mom. She wishes the ninja did not have to keep fighting Lord Gramadon. Before he turned bad, he was her loving husband. Ronan was once a bounty hunter paid to chase down the ninja. Now he is their ally and fights alongside them. Lots of ordinary folk help the ninja too. Claire doesn't have ninja skills, but she likes to visit their temple. You can see that. Dragons are born in the first realm, a place older than Ninjaro itself. Firstborn is the oldest dragon. People call her the mother of all dragons. The firstborn senses good in someone. She helps them. She carries Kai into battle against Garmadon with her dragon army following behind. Each ninja rides a dragon linked to their own powers. Jay's dragon is a storm breaker and a fast flying beast. Instead of breathing fire, storm breaker bringer breathes crackling bolts of lightning. They give enemies a nasty shock. Ouch. Some kind of fighters. Each of the six ninja have a special element power. They use these powers to protect Ninjar oh, Island from enemies. Cole has the element from Earth. His power, he can create earthquakes and mountains. He stops foes by piling dirt on them. Jay, his element is lightning. His power, he creates bolts of electricity that zap anything they hit. Ooh, sounds painful. Kai, his element is fire. He fires bursts of flames to melt his foes, weapons, and turn their vehicles to ash. Well, that seems safe. Zane, his element is ice. His 
power, he fires powerful ice blasts at his enemies, and he can trap them in blocks of ice too. Hmm? Nia is, uh, her element is water. She creates rain waves and water spouts. She also uses water jets to fly. Lloyd, his element is energy. He is known as a green ninja, master of energy, because he can control all five elements. Ooh. Solo adventures. The ninja work best as a team, but they cannot stick together all the time. During their adventures, they are often split up. Sometimes a ninja is forced to battle an enemy or rescue a teammate alone. These solo adventures are among the riskiest ninja missions of all. Family relationships can be difficult. Lloyd's dad, Lord Ramadan, is always attacking Ninjaro. As the ninja leader, Lloyd often has to fight his own dad. That's just so sad. Um, Garmadon was not always a villain. He turned bad after he was bitten by a snake called the Great Devourer. The snake's venom made him want to rule Ninjaro and boss the people around. Once Garmadon was briefly cured of his bad ways, he became Master Garmadon, a kind dad a patient teacher. Lloyd really bonded with him, but soon Garmadon turned bad again and the fighting began once more. The sky pirates are flying villains who menace Ninja Jaro. Their captain is a wicked Dijin named. Wow, this is rough. How do you guys read this? N Nadakin. For years, Nadakin have been trapped in the teapot of Tyran. He blames the ninja. Now he is free. He wants revenge. Nadakin turns the ninja into statues, but somehow his magic does not work on Jay. Jay keeps on fighting. Nadakin grants Jay three wishes, hoping to trick him into surrendering. But Jay is clever. He uses his final wish to turn back time, leaving Nadakin stuck in the teapot of Tyran again. Master Ying is the inventor of the flying martial arts. He hopes to become immortal by trying out the Yin blade. Instead, he becomes a ghost. Yang realizes that to return to life, he must transform the blade's curse into someone else. He picks Cole. Then he calls the ninja's old foes from the departed realm to help him. Cole does not want to be a ghost. He speeds into battle with his ultra stealth raider, backed up by the other ninja. After hours of fighting, Master Yang surrenders. He decides that being a ghost is not so bad. At least it's better than fighting the ninja. Wow, look at those Legos. Those are something else to put together. Those must be hard to put together. It must take a lot of time. Poor Zane. He is stuck in a grim prison, all called the Cryptarium. He has been blamed for a crime he did not commit. The other prisoners are tough criminals. One is Captain Soto, 
a sea pirate from days of old. Another is four-armed giant stone warrior. Kai comes to break his friend out of prison. He leaps over the fence, then smashes his way through the prison drain. Kai and Zane rush out past the guard. They are free. Unfortunately, they are also, unfortunately, they are the criminals. Okay, I'm looking at this and let me see, let me think. When a ninja can use their elemental powers at the highest level, they are said to have unlocked their true potential. Okay, Naya's true potential is ability to control water by realizing that she should keep trying. In the, when is in the battle against the preeminent coal, the true potential is incredible strength. How is mending a rift with his dad when, after a performance at a nin, Ninjaro concert hall, Jay is a tr true potential is to control over electrical electric currents. How by sharing his fears with, with Naya when, while saving Naya from an out of control roller coaster. Kai's true potential is resistance to heat, how by accepting that he cannot be the green ninja. When, after saving Lloyd from a fire, Lloyd, his true potential is controlling all five elements, how by accepting his destiny to be an ultimate spinjitsu master. When, after the final battle from Ninjaro, Zane's true potential is the ability to throw ice beams. How is by understanding he is a robot when on a journey through the frosted forest. Oh, look at that. Characters are becoming more advanced. Undercover missions. True ninja are stealthy as well as brave. They must move silently so enemies do not hear them. They must hide in shadows so enemies do not see them. Most of all, they must know how to conceal their true identity. Missions that rely on these stealthy skills are known as undercover missions. At first, there are only five ninja, Lloyd, Kai, Jay, Cole, and Zane. Then a mysterious warrior named Samurai X appears fighting alongside them. The warrior pilots a huge mech and a, a helmet hides his or her face. Who can it be? Samurai X sends the serpentine slithering off and makes the skulkins scatter. Eventually the identity of Samurai X is revealed and it is Naya, Kai's sister. Naya wants to be a ninja too, so she has secretly trained herself to fight and build her own mech. The ninja have to agree that she is has proven herself. Naya becomes the sixth ninja. P-I-X-A-L is an android built by Dr. Cyrus Borg. Her full name is Primary Interactive External Assistant Lifeform. P-I-X-A-L wants to help ninja battle their enemies, but her metal body has been scrapped by Master Chen and his criminals. She needs a new one, so she steals Naya's old Samurai X armor. At first, Naya thinks the newcomer is an enemy in disguise. However, when P-I-X-A-L, or Pixel, proves her skills and reveals her identity, Naya accepts her as the new Samurai X. She lets Pixel keep the armor and mech 
as long as she changes it from red to blue. Wow, that Lego is something else. Mech, mechs are massive armored battle suits that the ninja climb into and the pilot makes vehicles. The ninja upgrade their mechs often to include all of their gadgets and technology. Mechs usually reflect the color of some of the weapons of the ninja who pilots them. Lloyd's Tyron mech is green and its weapons include a six-bladed golden shuriken. A good mech includes some surprise features. Jay's Electro mech has flip up swords that also act as wings. It is not only ninja who own mechs during this time as a bounty hunting hunter. Ronin uses a mech with a net shooter and gets foes in a tangle. The sons of Garmadon are bikers with a mean mission. They want to have Lord Garmadon reborn and make him Emperor of Ninjaro. Zane wants to spy on the gang. He disguises himself as Garmadon fan named Snake Jaguar. So the bikers let him into their hideout. The bikers soon see Zane's disguise, ultraviolet nails, and skip vicious attack Zane. But Lloyd arrives in time to fight them off. Zane escapes with Lloyd. His mission was short but successful. He has learned all of the sons of Garmadon's secret plans. That's more on that page. Let's see that. Sometimes the ninja enemies go undercover to Princess Harumi is the adopted daughter of the emperor and the empress of Ninjaro. The public, she does kind deeds and helps the poor. In secret, she hero worships Garmadon and plots the fall down of the ninja. The white haired princess is so sweet to the ninja that Lloyd starts to fall in love with her. He is shocked when she suddenly turns on the ninja and locks them up. Harumi has forgotten that the ninja have allies. Skylar comes looking for her friends. She fights off Harumi and releases the ninja from the palace pr prison. Wow, these characters are something else. It can be hard to tell friends from foe. Villains often tell lies and pretend to be good guys. Oh, we have a bunch of bad guys here. Dabloon, Crux, Captain Soto, and Pissar. Epic Quest. The ninja are nearly always on an adventure of some kind. They never turn down a call for help, even if just one person needs their protection. However, sometimes they face much greater challenges. Sometimes the whole of Ninjaro is under threat. When these times come, the ninja must prepare for one of their truly epic requests. Wow, this is some kind of town. Look at that.
these guys are always in trouble. Ninja is in peril. The nasty serpentine serpents have released the great devourer. This giant snake eats everything it sees. If no one can stop it, it will eat all the ninja. The green ninja rides the, the ultra dragon to battle the great devourer. These four-headed dragons, dragon is swift and strong, but the snake smashes it to the ground with a flip of its tail. In the end, the ninja worked with Garmadon to conquer the great devourer. They confuse the snake while Garmadon uses the four magical weapons to defeat it. Just for once, Garmadon is a hero. So I'm gonna show you, oh, I did make one more character. I thought this one was kind of odd looking, but just that you can see that you can make all different kinds of things with the Legos. I'm gonna use this one to hold Kirby up. I also have one more thing I can believe. It's so easy, you can make them little or you can make them large. Um, I'm gonna take some little brown blocks here. little clear one here. I'm going to just make a little animal. That was pretty easy. That was really easy to make. See that one right there? That one's really easy. Let me see if I can make something else. I don't even know if you can see that on the camera. Let me get back here a little bit. But he's pretty cool. There's no rules when you're being creative to make your own people. Oh, let's see. Take some. See if I can get some. This is what seems to work. Maybe I have to use this kind. On these little. Little things that look like little feet. Make a plant creature. Let's see what we can do here. This will work this way. And let's see if we can give it some long legs. Take some yellow legs or something with it. See what I'm making here? You can be really creative with Legos. There's kind of no rule to making things. These kind of can go along. You can just put some things together. Oh, here's orange. Love the bright colored ones. Let's see two. Now I have that much a little feet underneath. And I have a block. Let's see if I can make it. See, I found a little blinky eye. I have a little eye left. See if I can find something else. There, there's another one. Oops. <laughs> Gotta get 
Supreme Court needed to. Like I said, there's really no rules when you're making Legos to making your creatures. There's that one. Maybe it should go underneath me. But... You can have fun adventures and make your own ninjas. And use your imagination. I like this one. Kind of reminds me of Barney's little sister, but it's a dinosaur. Um, and I really like making this one. This one's kind of neat. And this bird came out really good. I'm really happy with him. And I don't know if you could see my really my little bear really good, but he came out pretty well. And um, if you have any more ideas of what you'd like to see, just let me know. Uh, also, there's just, oh, there's just so much stuff here. I have this little guy here, too. And that's it for our Legos for this week. We had our little ninja story. Um, and I hope you find great enjoyment in putting the Legos together and making new things. And thank you for visiting with me today. Bye-bye.